Hey, so the topic of racism came up um, and I let it. And I continued on the conversation because but the person that was starting it told out ages ago. So let's have this conversation. She's, she's a very intelligent woman. She's easily able to lie, manipulate. She's, she's no dummy. Let me tell you that. She's a very smart woman. Now, that being said, think you said in terribly condescending and arguably racist ways that um, I was, um, was it unable or um, not coherent enough or uh, too white to be able to talk about race effectively? Isn't that what you said? It's really interesting. And I pointed out to you that you said I wasn't qualified, which I found ironic since literally it's the only thing I'm qualified in <laughs> is this. So, um, <clears throat> and I broke down what I had understood um, racial experience to be, which is perception of society of you, your image affecting that. Maybe they perceive your name or your look or something to be indicative of your background, you know, um, a family name or something that gives away your background your genetics, what you look like, and this will this will add to your experience, as well as what your family culture is and your culture outside your family. What kind of town, place do you grow up in? What is, and on top of that, um, what's your DNA, right? Now, there was one part in the argument where she says something very interesting, and she says, don't Irish peasant me. I woke up last night and I thought, man, I'm really curious to see what her response would be. And I bet she would dodge, dodge, dodge to this question. And my question for you, you of French name, um, is why did you say that? Don't Irish peasant me either. You are making a sweeping declarative that the plight, the historical long live lifetime plight of the Irish people full of exploitation, indentured servitude, kidnapping, rape, criminal um, actions, etc., etc., etc. Quite the legacy of the Irish people doesn't count because they're white. Are we negating the history as important? Are you saying that it, it doesn't count because it's not true oppression? Okay. Wow. I, I really beg to differ historically. I think that that's nothing to scoff at. And then the other thing is, um, the other way you could mean that is don't Irish peasant you because I'm not Irish enough. Now, first of all, I'm only part Irish. That's not what I claim. I claim Celt because that's accurate. Yes, I'm Irish, Welsh, and Southern German. Uh, over 90% compilation, which makes me over 90% Celtic. So I'm saying Celtic. I'm not saying Irish. But when I do talk about being pride, pr proud of my Irish side, which I'm not sure the exact percentage, somewhere between 10 and 20%, you're saying that I what? Don't have the racial experience. That's interesting. Even though I'm sweepingly a Celt. Interesting. So my name is, so right now it's Tara Jones, it's Irish Welsh. How I'm perceived on paper for someone that might know last names, such as Gonzalez, and, and perhaps a, attach some kind of ethnicity to that, will look at my thing and on paper I'm Irish Welsh. I've been to Ireland. Talk of, Ir of Celtic heritage was heavy in my household, so that's my personal cultural experience. Um, I've been to, to Europe um, many times to Germany. I'm over 90% Celtic and I am, I think 2% French, but I don't mention it because it's only 2%. Um, and otherwise I'm Celtic. So by and large Celtic. So that's why I say that. And, um, and so, um, my question to you is since on paper, I'm Irish, since the Irish look at me, and say you're Irish. No shit. The, what name one other culture? It is an Irish fucking the fairy ear is what that is. But they see my eyes, they see my hair color, they see my skin, they hear my name, and they go, "You must be Irish." Yeah, I, I am, but only a, a certain percentage. Um, and the Germans, the same thing. You must be German. I look very German. So being that I'm perceived that way, that it, my DNA is greater than your percentage of DNA African, um, and um, so I want to know 
since my percentage is bigger, since my cultural influence, and since it was more intrinsic to my family household where that was talked about, promoted by other people that were Kells, how is that a disingenuous experience, even if you were correct, that I was Irish peasant, peasanting you, which is a, not really the best term to use, dude. Um, so you're either, you've either completely negated your own argument in saying that your perception of reality is distorted in that you don't, you do believe that percentages matter after all, but not to you because you're absolved. You can be 2%, 2 to 5% African. And yeah, if I'm whatever it is, 10 to 20% Irish, then it doesn't count. Excuse me. What? Are percentages racist? No, I'm talking math. You could have been a fucking, you could have been a salad and, and you're talking about 2% of the croutons. I would have broken it down the same way. You could have been, um, you know, fucking 2% uh, milk and I'd say it's 2% milk. Okay. So I want to know what you meant by that. Don't be an Irish peasant. Are you, or don't Irish peasant me is what you said. Are you racistly? Um, saying that the plight of the Irish don't count or ins is insignificant for some reason, perhaps because they're white, because they're Irish, it doesn't count as much? Or are you saying um, that due to my percentage and that my name, the way that I look and the culture in my household and the fact that I've been there and the fact that um, it's more of a percentage of mine doesn't count, in which case your argument just went out the window.